Fine. The next question is about a person moving inside a lift, and uh, he's trying to find out the maximum acceleration and deceleration of the lift. Right. So for that, he's standing. Or okay, let's go to the question. A lift used in used in a building is shown in the diagram. The lift of mass two hundred kilograms is moved up and down by connecting to a motor using a wire. So you can see a wire, and then it's connected a motor. So when the motor rotates, wire will go up. With that, lift will go up. And when the motor rotates the other way, wire will go down. Lift will go down. The maximum tension bared by the wire is seven thousand newton. A person of fifty kilogram wishes to find the maximum acceleration and the deceleration of the lift. Standing on a balance placed in the lift, he observes its reading when it is moving up. Ah, lift is moving up. Remember, lift is moving up. Okay, right. Uh, he observed a maximum reading of sixty-five kilograms. Maximum sixty-five kilograms. And a minimum of forty kilograms, right? Minimum of forty kilograms. Now, when you say when you see sixty-five kilograms, you should uh, uh, have this six hundred and fifty newton in your mind. When you say four forty kilogram, it should be four hundred newton in your mind, right? Fine. So let's analyze this very quickly. Uh, if you have a lift, if you have such lift, and if there's a person standing and lift is moving uh, up, this lift is moving up. and there are two instances where you can uh, there are two different instances you have to consider one is when the lift accelerates upwards and when the lift accelerate downwards both the situations must be considered right so let's start the first case i said um, lift accelerates upwards accelerates upwards the next case is decelerates upwards sorry upwards when the lift accelerates upwards you have to mark the acceleration in the upward direction like this a all right then think of the man how many forces will be acting on the man hurry up how many forces will be act are acting on the man can i get a quick response from everyone how many forces are acting on the man hurry up please yes there are only two forces acting on the man one is mg his weight and the other one is the perpendicular reaction i'll take it as r1 okay right now since the lift is moving upwards with an acceleration of a uh You have you have to apply F equals m a in the upward direction. So F is R one minus m g equals m a. Therefore R one is m g plus m a. I'll take it as a one. Let's take the acceleration also different. Uh, a one, right? Fine. So the equation is going to be m a one, m a one, right? So you can see R the value of R is somewhat higher than m g. It's higher than m g. Okay. So yes. And R one is the reading actually, the perpendicular reaction acting on the man when the man is standing on a pressure balance. That is the reading of the pressure balance. Okay, Re keep that in mind. If you don't know that, then you can't do this question. This R is the reading. So if you find R, you have the reading. And in a spring balance, on the other hand, the tension on the spring is the reading. Here the pressure balance is right. Fine. And then the other case. What is the other case? Lift decelerates, decelerating. upwards that is the next case when the lift decelerating upwards now when the lift is decelerating upwards it's true that the lift is moving up but the acceleration direction of acceleration will be downwards hope everyone can agree with me on that because acceleration is a uh, vector so we have to be mindful about the direction if the lift is moving up if acceleration is in the opposite direction it will slow down so you have to mark it like this and then very quickly let's analyze the forces acting on the man how many forces are acting again there will be two forces acting on the man mg and r2 this time but this time since the acceleration is in the downward direction let's apply f equals to ma downwards here i apply the equation upwards because acceleration's direction was upwards right f is now mg minus r2 equals to ma2 therefore r2 if you rearrange it r2 you will get it mg minus ma2 mg minus m2 so you can say r2 is a smaller value r1 is a larger value therefore you should be able to understand r1 is our uh, 650 r1 must be 650 sorry this must be r1 because r1 is a higher value i have marked and r2 is the smaller value therefore this should this should have been r2 okay right let's go to a question give two situations when the man observes the reading of the balance below 50 below 50 means that is his weight na people below 50 50 means uh, his it represents its weight 
right 50 kg 500 newton so it will be below 50 r2 is below 50 na hope you can agree with me because it's mg minus something so what when is that uh, the answer for that should be uh, when lift when lift uh, decelerates upwards when lift decelerates upwards and the next one observes the reading of the balance above 50 kg when lift accelerates upwards okay now tell me when will the balance read 50 kg exactly can i quickly get some answers when will the balance read 50 kg exactly hurry up when will the balance read 50 kg exactly uh you have to send me two different answers very good shimra has sent me the correct one right uh the lift uh, reading equal to 500 newton they have not asked about that i hope they have not asked about that uh 500 newton reading equal 500 newton when lift is at rest lift is at rest or moving at constant velocity or moving at constant velocity just uh, keep that in mind they have not asked about it fine now if you go back to the question uh they said lift uh, he observes its reading when it is moving up Ah, uh, here they have asked it. This is the answer for the fifth one, ah, uh, Roman five. Gosh, they have asked it. Sorry, they have they have asked fifth one, right? This is the answer for the Roman five. Here, write down two situations. He observed the reading of the balance as fifty kilograms. I need to know what is it? Yeah. So this is going to be the answer. When the lift is moving at constant velocity, or when the lift is at rest, it will be fifty. Now the problem is now they are saying give two instances, ah, uh, give, give two situations when the man. Okay, fine. Right. Uh, i wrote this because they had mentioned that the lift is moving up standing on a balance placed on the lift when it is when it's reading when it is moving up fine since they are asking two situations can you tell me what is the other situation when you can observe uh, the reading below 50 now if you want the reading to be below 50 the direction of acceleration must be upwards if you want the reading to be below 50 the direction of acceleration no 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 sorry uh sorry 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 when the reading you if you want the reading to be below 50 the direction of acceleration must be downwards so this is one option or you can write it this way also when lift decelerates upwards or what is the other option accelerates downwards this is the other option you have all right and how about this then what is the other answer for this you will observe a reading above 50 when the if the lift is moving up with an acceleration and at the same time if the lift is decelerating downwards decelerates uh, downwards what's going to happen same result what is the meaning of decelerates downwards the lift is moving down with a deceleration therefore you have to mark the direction of acceleration in the opposite uh, manner therefore this right so since they are asking two instances give two situations when the man you have to write both yeah, fine uh, i i wrote the blue blue color answers because they had told it's moving up but anyways regardless fine then roman 2 find the maximum acceleration of the lift find the maximum deceleration of the lift okay um what is the final uh, find the what is the maximum acceleration of the lift mm, yeah when it is accelerating upwards so this is when it's accelerating upwards um Okay. Okay. Right. Hmm. So we have to find this one first. Roman two. This is going to be the answer for Roman two. They are asking for the maximum acceleration. Maximum acceleration. So let's start. This is Roman two. If we move on, R one. R how much is R one? When it is accelerates upwards, R one is a larger value. So for R one, you have to put six fifty. And for mg, we have to put five hundred plus. For m, we have to put fifty into a one. Therefore, one hundred and fifty is equal to fifty a one, right? So, what is a one, people? A one is equal to three m s minus two. How did I get this answer? Because this is what happens when the lift is accelerating upwards. 
read the question again carefully standing on a balance placed in the lift he observes its reading when it is moving up he observes its reading when it when it is moving up so that's what i have considered here he observed a maximum reading of 65 kg and a minimum reading uh, reading of 40 kg so when i when we check the uh, equations we are getting a larger value for r1 when the lift is accelerating upwards we are getting a smaller value for r when the lift is decelerating upwards therefore this and for here what should you do now here for r2 we have substitute 400 equals for mg you will put 500 minus 50a2 Right, what are we getting now? I take 50A2 to the other side, 400 to this side. So 500 minus 400, that is 100, isn't it? So A2 is going to be equal to 2MS minus 2. So the answer for this is 3MS minus 2. And the answer for this is 2MS minus 2. Maximum acceleration, maximum deceleration. When the lift is accelerating upwards, the reading is larger. When the lift is decelerating upwards, reading is small. So I substitute these values carefully for the appropriate equation and found this answer. Three and two. Find the tension of wire. Now, Roman 4. Find the tension of wire at which maximum and minimum readings are obtained. At which maximum and minimum readings are obtained. Now, we have to go out of the lift. Now, all this time we were considering the man, the acceleration the man was experiencing. Now, we have to get out of the... Uh, lift and you have to see the lift as a whole when I take the lift as a whole uh, to answer Roman 4 there are two now Roman 4 Roman 5 sorry we have already answered it Roman 5 but answering Roman 4 we have to consider the lift as a whole now let's go to Roman 4 yeah Roman 4 uh, first instance I'll take when the lift is when the lift has an acceleration upwards therefore take the lift now okay Overall, tell me overall, how many forces will be acting on the lift? Uh, the acceleration is upwards and that is uh, 3. We have found it 3. 3 ms minus 2. How many forces should I mark on the lift overall? Hurry up, please. So I have we have to find this tension. There will be a tension upwards. I'll take it as T1. And what else? What else is going to be there? There's going to be the weight. There's going to be the weight. What should I mark for the weight? What should I mark for the weight? I have to put the weight of the lift, uh, which is 200 kilograms. So that is 2000 Newton plus weight of the man. That is 500 Newton. Now, I can see some of you are saying R. R is wrong. You should not put R. R is the perpendicular reaction. Why is that? Go into the lift. Go into the lift. If you go into the lift, uh, the man is standing. All right, the lift is there. Now draw the free body diagrams. On the lift, R will act downwards. On the man, R will act upwards because Newton's action reaction pair, R. So when you take the whole lift as one system with the man, okay, I'll, I'll draw the man also. Huh? The whole lift as one system with the man, this R and R will cancel off. R will cancel off. So you can't consider that R. If you take man separately, you can consider. If you take lift alone separately, you can consider. But you have to consider both man and lift together. Therefore, capital R will cancel out. Okay, fine. So you should not mark that. Only weight and tension are uh, to be considered here. Okay, so for that particular situation, you can apply what? F equals MA. I'll mark it here. F equals MA. Let's mark it upwards. Let's consider it upwards because the lift is moving upwards. What is the upward force? T1 minus... Uh, this is 2500 equal to m now mass 250 careful mass of the lift mass of the man 250 250 into acceleration how much is the acceleration guys three so t1 will be equal to 750 plus 2500 3250 newton 3250 newton and that's completely all right because the maximum tension bear by the wire is 7000 newton but this is just 3,250. No, no, no problem. The wire will not break. Right. Now the next case. Next part. Uh, we have to find both. Huh? Find the tensions of the wire at which the maximum and minimum readings are obtained. So this is for the maximum reading. Now for the minimum reading situation. When the minimum reading was obtained, what is happening to the lift people? It has an acceleration in the downward direction. It has an acceleration in the downward direction. And that is uh, 2 ms minus 2. 
we are applying this equation for both lift plus man all together this equation is applied for both lift plus man all together if you take both lift and the man there will be two r on the man r is acting upwards on the lift r is acting downwards so if you take the whole system r and r will cancel out now when you do questions about objects connected to strings like this when you apply f here if this string is a light string what do we do we mark a tension here we mark a tension here when you well, let's say this is m1 this is m2 when you apply the equation for the whole system what do we do what do we do we say f equals ma and for f what do we put we put only f m1 plus m2 a do we consider t tension no right tension gets cancelled off just like that in this system also when both man and lift considered together r is acting on the man upwards r is acting on the lift downwards so those two r will cancel out don't put r if you put r it's completely wrong fine and then let's go back here there will be a tension upwards t2 we have to find that and the weight with the man the lift both once again how much is that 2000 newton plus 500 newton for the man and overall 2500 newton but the problem is acceleration is downwards so you have to apply the equation for the bo bo for both lift and man where downwards f equals m what is the downward force 2500 and what is the upward force t2 what is the mass 250 and the acceleration this time is 2 therefore how much is t2 t2 goes to the other side this is 2500 250 to 2 is 500 2500 minus 500 that is 2000 newton that is tension all right so these are the values and that these values are fine because they are less than 7000 i think uh, the lift is safe next part roman 6 what is the maximum number of people able to travel in the lift without breaking the wire of the lift now maximum number of people without breaking the wire of the lift that means they are indirectly saying how much is the tension 7000 newton so when the tension is 7000 newton the wire is ready to break if you increase the tension more than that the wire is going to break okay right uh if the lift is moving always with the deceleration and acceleration calculated in 2 and 3 above consider the okay fine so what is the maximum what is the maximum uh, number of people we can have right for that uh let's consider the lift once again okay so there will be a tension upwards 7000 newton that's the maximum tension okay this is actually t max wire is about to break and let's say there are how many people now let's say there are n number of people we don't know how many people are there, there okay n number of people n number of people sorry n number of people if not i'll take it as okay, x x number of people x people are x uh, number of people are there okay each person uh, has a mean uh, average mass of 50 kg so what is the total weight downwards all overall the weight of the lift is 2000 newton plus the weight by the people inside the lift is going to be people 50x 50x is the mass into 10 that's actually 500x hope you can understand 500 is the weight of one person there are x people inside 500x okay now when is the lift uh, under uh, then when, when will it be on the greatest stage when when it goes up or when it goes down when it goes down then uh, it will have uh, it goes down mm, fine what is the maximum number okay let's quickly do both then first of all i think it uh, it traveled upwards at 3 ms minus 2 right it traveled upwards at uh, 3 ms minus 2 so first case right and then let's for this case let's find out uh, how many x possible how many x possible right so for this if you apply the equation upwards f equals m a f is going to be how much 7000 minus 2000 minus 500 x upward force minus downward force equal to mass you have to be very careful with the mass 200 plus 50 x hope you can agree with me on that 200 is the mass of the lift 50 x is the mass of people into acceleration i have to put 3 right so on the left hand side i have uh, 
minus 500x. On the right hand side, I have uh, 600 plus 150x. And this goes to the other side, I will have 4400. And this comes to this side, I will have uh, 6500x. Yeah. Wait a minute. 5600 plus 150. Okay. 2400 and So x is going to be equal to 440 divided by 65. Uh, sorry, sorry, 750x. Sorry, sir. 750x. 750x. Yeah, correct. 750x. Extremely sorry about that. So x is going to be equal to 440 divided by 75. 440 divided by 75. How much is that? Can we put 6? No. It's, it's going to be 5.5 5 point something. Going to be five point something. Yeah. Six fifty. So I put it correctly now earlier. Six fifty, not seven fifty. So x is going to be equal to four forty divided by sixty five. Yeah. So eighty eight over thirty. Six point. Uh, no, eight, it's roughly 6.8. That means a maximum of six people possible here. And for the other case, for the other case, when the lift is decelerating downwards at two, what will happen? Fine. So I just did the calculation when the lift moves down with the deceleration of 2 ms minus 2 all this time. And uh, then the maximum number of people we can have is 13. Okay, 13. And uh, this one is 6.8. So what should be the value here? Is you know, I you can't have 6.8 person. Point eight means what you cut a person uh, head and put him inside. No, right? So it's six people maximum. Here the maximum is 13 people. Right, which answer is correct? Is it six or thirteen? Which one is correct out of these two? Should you should we say six or thirteen? Arya? When the lift goes down, you can put six thirteen people. When the lift goes up, you can put six people maximum. Right. So the answer should be six because when the lift goes out, go, no, when the lift goes down, you can put thirteen people maximum. But considering that value, if you put thirteen people when the lift goes up, what will happen? This will break. It will experience a tension more than 7,000. Okay. So we have found out the maximum possible number of people when the lift goes up and down. And you have to choose the smallest value as the answer. So the answer for this is going to be six people. Cal uh, what, yeah. uh, what is the maximum number of people able to travel the lift without breaking the wire of the lift? Answer is six people. That is the final answer for that question. Hope everyone understood it. It's true that you can put 13 people, but that's only when the lift is going down. When the lift goes up, you can only put six. When the lift is going down, if you put six, there's no problem in that. No. So six is the answer. 
Now, some of you have, might have got six and thirteen. You will get marks for this, but you will get an extra mark for saying only six is possible. Okay, so if you have come to up, come up to this point, it doesn't mean you are going to get zero marks for this question. You will get the marks, but not full, un unless you have mentioned this. So, lift can travel on. Uh, li lift can accommodate only six people uh, without breaking the what uh, wire or something like that, right? So, if you have come up to here, no problem. You'll get the uh, you'll get marks. You won't get zero, but you won't get the full marks un unless you mention this, right? Let's move on to the next part quickly. A person of 50 kilogram wishes to use the lift to carry 350 kilogram load down. What are the most dangerous situations from the situations given below? Okay. Right. Uh, now, 6.8 per people can be there. 6.8 people can be there in the lift. So I can say 6.8 people mean maximum weight. maximum weight which can be carried up which can be carried up carried up is how much carried up is uh, 6.8 into 50 that is 340 kilograms when the lift is going up if you put a mass oh no no oh yeah if you put a mass more than this inside the lift if you put a mass more than this inside the lift, the lift uh, cable will break. But maximum weight which can be carried down is how much? How much is that? Uh, which can be carried down is how much? That is going to be... Uh, uh, no, I think this analogy is a little different. People Not carried up really. Carried, uh, carried when... Uh, now look at the question carefully. It's not just about carrying upwards or downwards. Now I have marked, guys, this three means, it doesn't always mean the lift is going up. No? This three means it's not always the lift is going up. It has another meaning also. What is the other meaning? If the lift is decelerating downwards, then this can be possible in the people, right? So we have to understand this is either uh, lift accelerating Words, if not lift decelerating downwards. Hope you all understood this. Okay, because we have uh, done the calculation for the direction of acceleration. Okay, so as long as the acceleration is upwards and this is the number, then these are the two situations we have to consider. And this case is considered for two cases. What are they? If you mark the acceleration in the downward direction, that means lift accelerates downwards. Or what is the other option? Or lift decelerates upwards. Okay, people, hope you understood this, right? So I will correct this statement. Maximum weight which can be carried when when uh, lift what this decelerate sorry accelerates upwards accelerates upwards or decelerates downwards how much is that that is going to be equal to the uh, 6.8 person people can be accommodated so 6.8 into 50 that is uh, 340 kilograms right and what is the other one what is the other one maximum weight no maximum i should if i say uh, three kilograms it should be mass sorry it should be mass huh? mass right then maximum mass which can be carried when lift what are the other two options these two options accelerates downwards or decelerates upwards how much is that people how much is that 
um, that is 13.5. So 13.5 into 50, that is uh, 675 kilogram. Right? Okay. Okay. The next A. When the lift is at rest, okay. When the lift is at rest, what happens? Lift at rest or uniform velocity. What will happen? No problem there, no? uniform velocity. Let's see if there's a problem. When the lift is at rest or uniform velocity, people, um, what is the weight? What is happening? A, a person of mass 50 kilogram wishes to use the lift to carry a 350 kilogram load down. Right. So the person is there, 50, and the load is there, 350. And the lift is also there. Overall, what is the weight downwards? Tell me quickly, what is the weight downwards? Overall, man's 50, 350, altogether 400, lift's 200 kilograms. So altogether it should be, how much? 6,000 Newton, isn't it? 6,000 Newton. So what is the tension now? Tell me, what's the tension? Tension also has to be 6,000 Newton. Because the lift is at rest. I mean, this is part A of Roman 6. When the lift is at rest and when the 50 kilogram man wishes to carry this load, so 50 plus 350, 400, weight of the lift is 200, therefore 6000 Newton will be acting downwards. So tension also should be 6000 Newton, right? Uh, right, this is not dangerous. This is okay, safe. I'll just put safe. Hope you can understand this. Safe, this is safe because the tension is just 6000. Right, what about this? B, is it safe or not? Safe or dangerous? Are you? Be safe or dangerous. What is happening when lift is moving downwards with maximum acceleration? Safe or not? Safe. It is safe. Why is it safe? Because I have explained it to you. When the lift is accelerating downwards, you can accommodate a mass of 675. But they have added just 400. That's okay. It's not danger. Right? Okay. When the lift is moving down with a uniform velocity, safe or dangerous? Is it safe or not? Again, safe. Because uh, rest and uniform velocity, whether it's moving up and down, uniform velocity, this is the case. And finally, right when the lift is moving down with the maximum deceleration, uh, decelerating downwards here, yeah? decelerating downwards. So when it decelerates downwards, uh, you can have only 340, therefore it is not safe. So we'll say dangerous. But guys, wait a minute. Uh, maximum deceleration was 2 ms minus 2, wasn't it? 2 ms minus 2, no? Maximum deceleration. 2 ms minus 2, no? Oh, then we might have to check that a bit. It is two. Oh, shit. Right. Oh. Yeah, two ms minus two. Right, maximum DC. So we have to consider each thing. These two are okay. Now, the first three are okay. Now, last one, we have to check it again. Now, when the lift is moving down with the maximum deceleration, lift. Okay. Lift is there. Right, let's consider this way. Lift is there. Uh, tension is now maximum 7000 Newton. Uh, we're moving down with maximum deceleration. If the lift is moving down with maximum deceleration, that means I have to mark the direction of acceleration like this. And that is going to be 2 ms minus 2. Okay, maximum weight you can put inside. Let's take it as M with the man and everything. Let's take it as M for the time being. Huh? So totally the downward uh, force will be 2000 Newton plus Mg, but plus 10 M. Okay, M is the total mass I can put uh, when the lift is moving downwards, decelerating downwards with maximum deceleration. See, read it carefully. When the lift is moving down with maximum deceleration. So now if you apply the equation very quickly, F is equal to MA, downwards F is uh, 2000 plus 10M minus 7000 equal to on the other side, what is the total mass in the system now? 200 plus M into 2. So this is uh, 10M minus 5000 and on the other side, how much is that? 400 plus 2M. 
so eight m is equal to five thousand four hundred. M is equal to five thousand four hundred divided by eight. What is that going to be? Five thousand four hundred divided by eight is people uh, six six uh, six hundred there are seven six hundred and seventy five. Yeah, six hundred and seventy five kilograms. Ah. Huh. Hmm. Again, the same value, no? Hmm. Then down with maximum acceleration. Oh, right. 